do a tiny plant check-in because i got shit to do. Um, I just started a fast this morning. I'm doing a three-day fast with my sister. I think she just really wanted to because she was reading about um, stem cell activation and skin elasticity benefiting from um, fasting. And we were talking the other day about how like there's a cancer patient we know who essentially manages his white blood cells entirely through diet. Like he will gain weight up to a certain point, you know, hit a certain number, and then he'll fast for like five days. And fasting somehow keeps everything with the cancer in total check. And then he will gain weight back up to that point and then fast another like five days. It's crazy, but his doctors can't explain it and they're like, uh, well, whatever you're doing, just keep on doing it. So she was fascinated by that and she wants to do a three-day fast, try and build up to maybe doing a five-day five eventually just to try it. So I'm going to do it with her. We've got new leaves coming on, the maples. But yeah, that was um, 6 a.m. is when I started mine. We had a cheese day last night and uh, we ordered Cheesecake Factory. Got like I got raspberry white chocolate cheesecake bullshit and we ate calzones. It was fucking glorious. But I haven't had calzones which is like all cheese and carbs and like grease and all that stuff in so long my stomach was fucked bro I like couldn't handle it it was really good but I did not feel good after eating it clovers are coming along Holly is actually making a new branch over here those leaves might not get enough sun over there but I don't know I'm gonna let it do its thing but yeah a little cheat day followed by a three-day fast should be amazing. I think I'm going to do maybe just like one cold shower in the mix here as well because that also activates stem cells and helps with skin elasticity and stuff. But I think I'm going to get back on the fasting train just every once in a while. Still nothing in our cilantro pot, but we have a lot of dill sprouts coming up here. This one is just about to exit the seed cap. How cool is that? The dills, I wasn't sure if they were going to shoot up as fast as we wanted, but there's a lot over here. Then, the oak is doing good. Rose bush. Hey, look at those new leaves. They're so big already. It's great. The tatsui mustard hasn't started sprouting out yet. I haven't actually seen a lot of these seed pods, but, like, when you open up the casings, there's nothing there, so it makes me think maybe they popped out already, and I just didn't notice. But, fingers crossed, we'll start seeing some of those. Oh, the rose bush. Oh, everybody's thirsty. I need a water. The arugulas are changing color a little bit. And I'm not sure if this is too much heat or not enough water or what's going on here. But a lot of them are browning out. Some of them are still very green and starting to grow more leaves, though. So I'm hoping it all works out here. Our little baby kiwis are about to shed off those leaves that died. Some of them are still browning out, but... It looks like they are all creating new leaves on top. So, it's a, except for maybe this one. Everybody else has a new set of leaves. And see that little baby leaf there? They're doing okay. They're growing more. It looks like this leaf is going to be next to go. But they're getting more height. I'm so proud of them. They're doing such a good job. They are planted a little bit close together, but I'm not willing to move them right now. They just went through a lot. I want to give them a little bit of time to rest and recuperate and do them. We've got something happening over here. This one keeps on getting dug up by the squirrels, though. So, I don't know what's going on. The basil is officially standing up by itself. Look, it, it leaned out all the way over here, and now it's like, broop, <laughs> growing up at a 90-degree angle. We've got more mint. I think this is mint. Popping up over here. The flowers are coming up. A little bit more yeah the basil I think the basil is gonna be okay it was just a, a tough transition but every single one of them is turning to get more Sun and the mint is looking cute Ugh. then the squirrels killed my flower again but it doesn't look dead yet so fingers crossed it'll it'll be able to survive there the cuttings I don't know, this one's standing up really straight still. It may make it, but the others are not looking as good. We'll find out. The honeysuckle actually has 
something eating its leaves here, but it has enough leaves that it might be okay anyway. And something is growing down here, but I'm not sure if that's honeysuckle or something else. My moss is dehydrated. It's not getting enough water. I think maybe it was hotter than I thought it was the last couple days. <sighs> the yard is getting more filled with my sister's boyfriend's car stuff. Hopefully that goes away soon. It's not really a problem, it's just annoying, you know? Blocking all the all the yard space. But what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Um, my life coaching stuff is coming together. I officially have I basically made like 16 pages of just like things that I need to brush up and round out for life coaching. Like I've got a whole section dedicated to just grief counseling and uh, coping mechanisms. And I'm going to look into certification for that. There might be some kind of like, without getting a two-year degree or a four-year degree, some kind of like counseling certification for, for grief and things like that. But then I've got, you know, like to become a better salesperson, to work on becoming a better spouse, a better parent, um, to start your own business, to learn a new language. Like I've got all these different areas that I'm going to be able to coach in. And I just need to fine tune each different area a little bit. I think most people focus on rounding out one area at a time. But since I'm not like, I'm not super concerned about getting a million clients right away because I, I'm basically considering this an education period. Like, I'm going to be able to round this out while I'm getting my nutrition and personal training certification done. And that's going to be an intensive learning process as well, plus I'm gonna be working a day job. I think it's gonna be better off for me to just spend extra time doing this now while I can really focus on it. So, that's my plan. But 16 pages of just action plan for the action plans you know what I mean <laughs> I mean technically I could start up any time but I need to um, get some quotes for personal liability insurance because it's just pra pragmatic you know what I mean if you're gonna be giving people advice the best thing you can do is tell them from jump I'm here as a sounding board I'm here to facilitate you doing your own thing but you're not here to tell them what to do you're not here to do things for them necessarily. You're supposed to make it easier on them to help them organize it, to be the soundboard that they need and help them make logical, well-informed decisions, but they are at the end of the day making their own decisions. So personal liability insurance, I think would just make sure that nobody could say like, I gave bad advice and ruined their life. So my sister's looking into that, but the last time she looked into that, when we were talking about um, I was planning on becoming a groomer a couple years ago before all that stuff happened and I had left the pet industry. <sighs> Essentially, I wasn't there when it happened, but um, a six-year-old Shih Tzu, I think it was, had a heart condition and died during the grooming process and they fired everybody that was there that day pretty much. Just for PR, you know what I mean? So I realized that job security was not a thing in the animal industry. Because if something happens, they're worried about their reputations, not what actually went down. So we were talking about personal liability insurance for if I decided to continue grooming years and years and years ago. But I think that conversation was really just prep for what's going to be happening next year. I mean, what are the odds that I have to look into it again with the same person? You know, my sister already did all the research. So... That's probably not going to happen until after I get the um, personal training and nutrition stuff done. I'm just going to have to put some kind of disclaimer if I, if I start taking clients sooner than that. But I've been quiet the last couple days because I've just been go, 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 you know, like <laughs> doing all my, uh, all my research, flushing things out. <sighs> well, I guess that's it. Just rambling for a little bit, catching y'all up if you care. Thanks for watching.